Hey guys, and welcome to the 12 days of Christmas. This is the first video that I've filmed in this series, but I don't know when you guys are seeing it. Today is going to be my decluttering my entire makeup collection video. I am going to go through every single category of makeup that I own. I'm going to attempt to declutter. I just have a lot of makeup and I don't need it all. And I feel like it's time for me to kind of go through the entire collection, get rid of stuff that I no longer use. Whenever I declutter makeup, I either donate it or I give it to family members or I throw it away if it's like really old. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you've been enjoying the 12 days of Christmas and that you are excited for the rest of the series. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So we are going through all of my tinted moisturizers, BB cream, CC creams, and foundation. I'm gonna lay these all out so you guys can see them all. I put all the BB cream, CC creams, tinted moisturizer on this side, some dewy foundations on the top, and then stick foundations, and then like kind of the rest of these. So realized I had this powder foundation in this box should kind of be with my powders. So let's start with the BB creams and CC creams. I know for sure that I'm keeping the Laneige BB cream. I have it in the shade 21 beige. I am going to just keep this because it's basically done. This is the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB cream. Actually, it's probably going to move into my empties pile. I am going to keep the pretty fresh Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizer by ColourPop. Same thing with this Super Dewy Skin Tint for Makeup Revolution. This is actually pretty new. I wanna keep this, which is the Ultra Repair Tinted Moisturizer by First Aid Beauty. I'm going to declutter this. This is from Physicians Formula. It's their Super CC Cream in the shade Light. I'm also getting rid of the Rimmel Insta Flawless Radiant skin tint and I'm going to give this to someone. This is the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. The Marcel CC Cream is basically finished. There's hardly any product left so it's kind of the same as this BB Cream from L'Oreal. I finished these two products up so they're kind of in the almost emptied pile. This is the Garnier BB Cream in the Combo to Oily Skin version. I think I might keep this one because I don't really have another uh, BB cream from the drugstore. I have the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk. I'm gonna keep this one, I do really like it. And then I have the Physicians Formula Sheer Line of Defense Foundation. I'm gonna keep this one. The L'Oreal Radiant Serum Foundation from their Age Perfect line. I'm going to keep that one as well. The foundation sticks. I'm going to get rid of this Maybelline one. I did like this in the summer, but I ended up not wearing it that much. The L'Oreal foundation stick. This is their infallible foundation stick. This one is just way too light for me. I picked up the wrong shade. It's in the shade 402 nude beige and you can probably tell it is like very, very pale. So I'm going to get rid of this one. And then the Revolution this is all dirty. I think it's called their Fast Base Foundation Stick in the shade F6, and I'm actually gonna keep this one. These are the NYX Total Coverage Foundation Drops. I'm gonna get rid of both of these. And then this drop foundation, I haven't really worn this enough. This is the Revolution Pro. These are their foundation drops. I haven't used it in a really long time, so I'm gonna keep this. The Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. I'm going to keep this one. This cushion foundation from Wet n Wild. This is SPF 15 in it. I'm going to give it away. I don't actually wear it that often. I am going to give away this Flower Beauty Light Illusion Luminous Makeup. L'Oreal Total Coverage Foundation. Infallible Total Coverage. I want to get rid of this one. I do actually like this foundation, but I have found a better foundation from L'Oreal that I like more, so I'm going to give this one away. This is the Rimmel Lasting finish 25 hour. I don't get that. Like, why didn't they just say it's 24 hour? But this is the lasting finish 25 hour breathable foundation. I just haven't reached or worn this one in so long that I'm going to give it away. This product is so old, but I love this makeup product so much. This is the Revlon Color Stay Whipped 
foundation. I think this is actually a makeup product that I would consider repurchasing at some point in the future. Just because this is so old, I'm going to get rid of this one. This is the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation. This one I'm just going to put aside for now because I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. One for sure that I'm keeping is this ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. Same as this one. This is from XX Revolution. I'm going to keep this one as well because it's pretty new. One that I am for sure keeping because I love it is the CoverGirl Outlast Active Foundation. Another one that for sure I'm keeping is this NYX Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation. This is in the shade Nude. It is the perfect color match for me and I actually think this is one of my all-time favorite drugstore foundations. So I'm definitely keeping that. I'm also going to keep this because I really love this in the summertime. This is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover full coverage protective makeup sunscreen. It has SPF 50 in it. So I'm keeping that one for sure. This is another one of those just reliable foundations. It's the Maybelline Super Stay full coverage 24 hour foundation. I think I'm going to get rid of this. This is the Wet n Wild Dewy foundation. I'm going to keep this one. This is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop full coverage foundation. I'm going to keep this one because the shade is so good on my skin. Like it matches me so well. It's in the shade Natural. Okay, I'm going to just keep this one because I don't know. It's not supposed to be in this pile. I'll probably bring it back in the powder portion of this video. This is the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. When I'm filming videos over the winter, I feel like I'm going to be wearing this guy. This is the Physicians Formula Organic Wear Silk Foundation Elixir. I'm going to keep that one. The L'Oreal 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. This is that like L'Oreal foundation I mentioned earlier that I actually like. I'm going to keep that one. This is one of my favorite foundations. I think I want to keep it. It's the Physicians Formula The Healthy Foundation. I think it's discontinued which means that I, I if I get rid of it now I'm never going to be able to repurchase it. So I kind of want to keep it. I'm going to get rid of this. I just I don't like it enough to keep it so I'm going to get rid of that one. CoverGirl one was really nice. It's their True Blend Matte Made Foundation. I think I'm gonna get rid of it. And this product, the Milani Scream Queen Natural Finish Foundation. I wanna keep it for the time being, but it's kind of similar to this one, which is the Revolution Pro Foundation. It's gonna go on my testing pile, and if I don't like it after retrying it, I am going to get rid of it. So that is the keeping pile and this is the going away pile and then there is the pile that I'm like finishing up which is just these two products so they don't really count because like they're almost done. I want to take out the ones that I'm going to put in my testing pile. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I think I want to give this to my mom. I just don't think I need another dewy foundation. So I'm keeping 20 products and I'm giving away 16. That is the end of the foundation portion. Okay, we are going through powders. First one that I'm obviously keeping, it is the Milani Prep Set and Glow. My favorite powder of all time. You guys are probably already know that because I feel like it's so hard to find and it might even be discontinued. I ended up finding it on well.ca and I just picked up three. They're all unused, unopened. I'm pretty much set for the next three years of my life. This Wet n Wild one, Photo Focus Press Powder in the shade Warm Light. I'm gonna keep it because it's almost finished and I just wanna like feel the satisfaction of finishing a powder all the way through. What I'm gonna give away is this Maybelline one. It's their Fit Me Set and Smooth Powder. I wanna give this away because it is so old and it's got hard pan on it already. It's the Rimmel Stay Matte. Powder. This one I think I want to keep for the sake of trying to finish it up. It's the Rimmel Insta Fix and Matte Translucent Powder. And then this one from Maybelline. This is their Super Stay Full Coverage Powder Foundation. I'm going to keep this one because again, it's almost done. I give away this. This was sent to me and I've never used it. It's the Nude by Nature Translucent Loose Finishing Powder. I'm going to give away this healthy foundation powder from Physicians Formula. The name as the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation. I'm going to give this away because I just find I don't reach for it very often. This is the Milani, what is this called? Shine Proof Powder Conceal and Perfect. I have the shade 04 Natural Owl. I think I want to keep this one. Elf Mattifying Powder. I've, I got it for free 
and I've only used it like a couple times. I'm going to give this one away. The L'Oreal Age Perfect Creamy Powder Foundation. I think I'm going to keep this one. From JCat Beauty, this is their Aqua Assurance Compact Foundation. So I'm going to keep this one. These two products I bought because this was like all the rage years ago. It's the RCMA No Color Powder. So I think I'm gonna keep both of these. So this is my keeping pile. And this is my going away pile. I'm giving away six, keeping nine, not that bad, I don't think. So we are going to do primers and setting sprays. I actually don't have that much of either, but let's go through the primers first because I think my setting sprays is more just showing you guys what I have. I don't think I'm decluttering anything from the setting sprays. I know that I'm gonna be keeping this one, but only because it's basically finished. This is the Milani Prime Light Strobing and Pore Minimizing Primer, and as you can tell, it's like basically done. I know that I'm gonna keep my Milani Soft Focus Glow Primer. The same thing with the True Match Lumi Glotion. This is from L'Oreal, and I'm gonna be keeping this. I forgot that I have the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, which is pretty new, and I'm obviously gonna keep it. I'm going to give away this Primer. I think I got this for free one time from Shoppers. It's the Nude by Nature Perfecting Primer. I think I'm also going to get rid of my Magic Lumi Primer from L'Oreal. This is also in the, on the wrong side. This should have been on this side. I'm going to keep this. This is the NYX Away We Glow Strobing Cream. I think I want to get rid of this CoverGirl Primer. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Base Business skin primer. It's in the illuminating shade. This shouldn't be here. I don't know what this is doing here. This is a highlighter, so I'm gonna take that out. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Gel Mist. Um, I'm gonna keep it only because I want to use it up and I'm like more than halfway done it. And I'm also going to be keeping this, the NYX Bear With Me Hydrating Jelly Primer and setting sprays. So like I mentioned, setting sprays are all probably going to be stain in my collection. The first one is my current everyday setting spray. This is the Catrice HD Active Freezing Setting Spray. This was just a little sample from Urban Decay. It's their all-nighter setting spray. This is the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh setting spray. Then I have this, which is um, pretty old now, but I'm not gonna get rid of it because I don't own anything else really from MAC. This is their Prep and Prime Fix Plus. And these two products are from Maybelline. This is their glass spray. I'm not a fan of this, but because I have it, I'm just gonna use it till it's gone. And this is my favorite setting spray of all time, the Maybelline Lasting Fix setting spray. Like I mentioned, don't really need to get rid of any of them. These are my primers that I'm keeping. I am keeping around seven. So anyway, those are my primers and setting sprays. I'm gonna just get rid of these three and we are done here. We're going through concealers now. So I don't have that many concealers. I know for sure right away that I'm gonna be keeping this concealer because it's my go-to. This is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Concealer. And I know I'm also gonna be keeping this Catrice One Drop Coverage Concealer. I am going to keep the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. Concealers to me are kind of similar to how I feel about setting sprays. Like I know I'm gonna use most of these all up eventually because it's just something that I wear a lot. I'm not like super fussed about decluttering these so much. Yeah, anyway, this is the XX Revolution. One concealer that I'm gonna get rid of is this one. Actually, I don't even know if this is concealer or if this is a eyeshadow primer. This is the Bella Pierre Makeup Base. I actually feel like this might not be a concealer. Either way, I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm also gonna get rid of this. This is the Rimmel Insta Conceal and Contour Palette. Actually, this is basically finished. There's like no product left. So I'm going to um, move this into my empties bin. The last three here, I have the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. And then the last one is the Revolution Pro Ultimate Coverage Crease Proof Concealer. I'm getting rid of these two. That is the concealer collection. So we are going through face palettes now. So basically in this category, I put anything that has blush, bronzer, and highlights together or just blush and bronzers. And for sure keeping this, this is 
the XX Revolution Gravitate Face Palette. It's pretty new in my collection and I'm always going to keep it. Another face palette that I'm going to be keeping is the Revolution Makeup Revolution Patricia Bright palette. I'm going to keep this one because I really like it and I love the formula. One that I'm going to pass on is this one from Rimmel. I keep hanging on to this in the hopes that I will end up liking it or using it. I'm gonna keep this. This is the Catrice California in a Box face palette. I really, really like this. This is the I Heart Revolution. I'm gonna keep this one. I have a whole bunch of like the little elf duos. This one is in the shade Turks and Caicos. I'm gonna give this one away. I've barely used it. I also have it in the shade Saint Lucia, which I do really like but um, I just don't reach for it very much anymore, so I wanna give this one away as well. This one is their matte version. This is in the shade Fiji. I actually hit pan on the bronzer for this one, but it's matte bronzer, matte flesh. I just don't use this anymore, so I wanna give this one away. And this one is actually cream. It is the Aqua Beauty Cream Duo in the shade Bronze Peach. I'm probably just gonna keep it and keep using it till it's gone. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Serving Sculpt Palette in the shade 500. I've hit bronzer on the pan. I've hit pan on the bronzer. I'm gonna keep this one because I do like it. BH Cosmetics Contour and Blush. Too. I don't think they sell this product anymore. At least I haven't seen it on their site for a long, long time, but it is so good. This is such a nice formula. And I think I'm just gonna keep this because I actually really like it and I don't think I'd ever be able to repurchase this one. I didn't do very well on decluttering this category. Keeping seven and I'm giving away four. Okay, so we are going through bronzers. These are both bronzers and contour products. So I have the cream Creams on this side, contour palettes here, and then bronzers kind of in the middle. This is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer in the shade Perpetually Tan. I'm definitely keeping it. Another one I'm for sure keeping. This is my Summer Powder Bronzer. It's from Milani. It's their Baked Bronzer in the shade Soleil. This is the Physician's Formula bronze booster. I'm like tempted to keep this just because I've already made such a dent in it. I might as well just keep using it till I finish it. But at the same time, I feel like I'm just never going to finish this product up. I don't know. I want to put this in the maybe pile for now. This is from Revolution Pro. It's their 4K bronzer palette in the shade Cool. I think because I don't really own very much from Revolution Pro, I might as well keep this one. Another product that I'm for sure keeping is the Revolution Pro Sculpt and Glow palette. This is a little duo. It comes with a bronzing shade and a highlighter shade. I love this product. This is from Revolution Makeup Revolution. It is their Ultra Contour Palette. I have had this for years and I just honestly I don't reach for palettes like this anymore so I'm going to give this one to one of my sisters. This is the Sculpt Glow from Folk Allure. I kind of want to keep it. Plus the brand sent it to me and I always kind of like keeping things that like mean something. This, this is the e.l.f. contour palette. Now this I have had also for a very long time and this is gonna hurt, but I think I'm gonna pass this one on. Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in the shade Dolce de Leche. Maybe I should just try and at least use up the bronzer shade. I feel like I can do that. I don't know if I'd ever use up this side, but I'm just gonna keep trying. I think I can do it. So for sure, I'm keeping the Physician's Formula Sculpting bronzer, bronzer Stick. I am going to keep the Wet n Wild one. This is their Mega Glow Stick in the shade Oaks on You. The Cream Palette from e.l.f. Honestly, I think I have to give this one away. I just don't use this anymore. I just feel so bad for e.l.f. I love e.l.f. and I don't know why I'm getting rid of all their products. This is from Quo and it is their contour stick. I think I got it in like this set of three. I want to do a Quo video soon. Like I want to do a video trying out a bunch of Quo products. So I'm probably just gonna keep it for a Quo video and then maybe give it away. This is the Rimmel Insta Contour and Highlighter 
stick. Such a good formula. I really wish that Rimmel had like done something with their Insta line. I felt like they had something really good going and I liked a lot of their products. So I think if I just start using this one every day and just give my physician's formula one a break, I could probably finish this really quickly. And the last product here is the LA Girl Velvet bronzer. I think this is just like their stick bronzer. This was my go-to bronzer before I discovered the Physicians Formula One. It's a little bit more of a reddish undertone and it actually works better for me in the summer months. I don't have that much product left. Like I only have like like a centimeter of product, honestly. I'm probably gonna keep this one as like my summer bronzer. I think I'm going to give this one away. I just don't see myself being able to finish this. Giving away four things, keeping 11. That's really horrible. Probably could have done better on the bronzers. I have an unhealthy amount of blushes. I really need to make a dent in this and sort out my life here. Blushes are my, probably my favorite makeup product. Let's just start by going through for sure what I wanna get rid of. I'm gonna leave the creams till the end because that's gonna be the hardest for me since I love creams. But for sure I'm going to uh, pass this one on. This is the e.l.f. Marvelous Mauve, or Mellow Mauve. I'm also gonna pass on this one from LA, LA Girl. This is their Just Peachy Blush. This is sad, but I'm gonna pass on both of my Essence Silky Touch blushes. I'm gonna pass on, oh, this is a cream. That should be on the cream side. These two blushes are basically dupes for each other. This is the NYX Powder Blush in Cinnamon, and this is the e.l.f. Always Fiery Primer Infused Blush. I think I wanna keep the e.l.f. one just cause I like the formula a little bit better. This powder blush palette from Revolution Pro, their 4K blush palette. It's in the peach shades. I think I am going to keep this. I am going to get rid of this one. This is for Makeup Revolution. It's their Ultra Blush Palette in the shade Sugar and Spice. Okay, a blush that I'm for sure keeping, it's my all-time favorite blush. It's the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Rose Doro. This is from Revolution. This is the Matte Blush Powder in the shade New Rules. I think I'm gonna pass this one on. This is the Milani Powder blush. It's their rose powdered blush in the shade Romantic Rose. I always get compliments on my blush when I wear this, so I'm going to keep it. I have two more of the Milani baked blushes, and I don't need to keep both. I think I can probably get rid of this one. This is in the shade Coralicious. I'm going to pass this one on. The other one is in the shade Luminoso. I think I'm going to keep it because I just got rid of Coralina. This isn't Coralicious. This is Coralina, by the way. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Blush, and this one is in the shade rosy pink. It's a soft baby pink blush shade, so I think I'm gonna keep it. I don't have a lot of cool tone blushes in my collection, and it's a nice one for the winter. Actually, I might just wait on these and dive into some of the creams first. This is the e.l.f. Cream Blush Palette, which I actually really, really like. I just don't reach for it. So I'm gonna give this one away. I'm for sure gonna keep the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in between the sheets. These are the e.l.f. Beautifully Bare blushes, and I don't think they market them as Beautifully Bare. Okay, these are just annoying me. But I don't think they market these anymore as Beautifully Bare. I don't know what they call them. I think I'm gonna keep Rose Royalty, but I think I'm gonna pass on Peach Perfection. These are the Sweet Cheek Soft Cheek Tints from NYX. I love these. These are absolutely amazing, and I'm for sure keeping them. I also am gonna keep my Cheek Heats from Maybelline. Same thing with the Milani ones. I love these, so yeah, gotta keep those. This from NYX, I love this. This is their Bear With Me um, Hydrating Cheek Tint. It really does hydrate and cool down your cheeks, so keeping this one. This is from Wet n Wild. This is their Mega Glow blush in the shade Hustle and Glow. I don't own that many stick blushes, so I might keep this one. This one is from Quo. It's the same thing that came with the bronzer from Quo. I think I want to keep it for when I do a Quo video. This one, this is the Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink blush. It's one of their like color icon blushes. I think I just have to pass this on. Oh, it is so good though, but uh, I just need to pass it. I think it's just time. Then we have this one from NYX. It's their terracotta blush. I want to keep it because it's amazing and I haven't been able to find another version of this. And then I have this one from Revolution. This is in the shade Divine my packaging on this one is broken, but this is the softest blush that I've ever 
felt. Kind of similar to that Butter Blush from Physician's Formula, I guess, but it's a little bit more pinky, like it's a little bit more baby pink. So I might keep it because it is a pretty blush in the winter time. Last but not least are these Physician's Formula blushes. These are their Dewy Blush Elixirs. I'm gonna keep both of these. So I'm giving away 11 blushes and I'm keeping 21, which is a lot of blushes. I do feel like I will go through these creams up here really quickly. Okay, so we are moving on to highlighters. I just realized that this is a blush. I don't know what it was doing in my highlighter drawer, but it's the e.l.f. Duo Blush. I'm going to actually declutter this one. I didn't even notice it was missing when I was doing my blush collection and declutter, so this one is definitely getting decluttered. First thing that I am for sure keeping is the ColourPop Flexitarian Highlighter. This, which is the Catrice Golden Dust Highlighting Drops. This one is in the shade Space Gold. The other shade that I have is in the shade Space Shuttle. It's their Galactic Highlighting Drops. It is really pretty, but it is very pink and I definitely prefer the gold one. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Ooh, something broke around here. I have like little highlighting flecks everywhere. The NYX Duo Chromatic Highlighters. Never found a time to wear these, so I'm going to pass them on. I'm gonna pass this on. This is the Physician's Formula Translucent Pearl. I just don't wear it anymore. I haven't worn it in a while. I think I'm also gonna pass this on. This kind of pains me because I think this was like the first highlighter I ever purchased. It's also from Physician's Formula. It's their Natural Nude highlighter. I just don't reach for it anymore and it's just sitting there and I'm gonna pass this one on. I totally forgot I had two more highlighting palettes so we're adding these back into the, the mix here. I'm gonna give away this. This is the e.l.f. Apricot Glow Baked Highlighter. I think I'm gonna pass it on just because I haven't worn it in a while and it's not my favorite highlighting formula but I do really like the e.l.f. Baked Blush blush that is in the shade Pinktastic. It's one of the most stunning highlighters, plus it's like $3. This is the e.l.f. Illuminating Palette. I really feel rotten for giving away all my e.l.f. stuff that I've loved for so long, but I think it's time to pass this one on. Honestly, if you want something that isn't shiny or metallic or, or um, beaming on your skin, definitely try this e.l.f illuminating uh, palette out. This Focalore palette, honestly, the only reason I'm gonna keep it is because it was sent to me, but it is so intense. It's not like I'm gonna be wearing this one a lot. I'm just gonna keep it because it was gifted. I'm gonna give this one away. This is the Revolution Makeup Revolution Ultra Strobe Stick. I feel like I don't really need this one, especially if I keep Flexitarian. Let me swatch the Wet and Wild one. This is their Mega Glow Highlighting Stick in the shade When the Nude strikes. I feel like they're so similar that I don't need to keep both. You know what? I feel like I should keep the Wet n Wild one just because it's less intense. This is from Essence. It is a really pretty drugstore highlighter. So um, I'm going to keep this one. This palette from Revolution. This is a very intense highlighting palette. We are down to the final three and they are all creams. The first one is this strobing liquid from Maybelline. I think I'm going to keep it. Another one of those close sticks. This is the highlighting stick. This is like a very subtle highlighter. I'll just keep it till the quill video. And last but not least, I broke this and I shattered it. I'm so mad because it's such a good product. Oh my god, I'm going to break it again. This is the Catrice Dewy Wet Look Stick and I have never found anything else like this at the drugstore. It's like a gloss basically, but it's so cool that I have to keep it. It just makes your cheeks look wet. So I'm giving away eight and keeping 10. I'm definitely feeling better about my collection now. Okay, so we are on to the boring category or what I think is the boring category. I kind of just pile it all into this box. It includes mascaras, eyeliners, um, eyebrow products, single shadows. There's just a lot of random stuff in here. Glitters, like everything, honestly everything. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I think I'm just going to pull them out and put them either on this side if I'm keeping it or this side if I'm getting uh, giving them away. So the first thing is obviously my mascara that I'm currently using. This is the 
L'Oreal Bambi Eye Mascara. This mascara is actually finished, so I need to move this into my empties pile. This is just a sample of Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. It is done though, so I'm going to move it to the empties. So there's some more of these Too Faced samples, so I wanna move these ones to this side because they are not opened yet. This is a brow product from CoverGirl. It's their Easy Brow mascara. I'm actually just going to keep using this one. I think I'm almost finished it. Oh, and then my go-to brow product is the Catrice Brow Pencil. Oh, I forgot my other one, but I have one opened. It's the Milani eyeshadow primer. So I have two liquid, oh, three liquid liners. This one I have to toss. This is the NYC liquid eyeliner. And then the other two that I have going, this is like my nemesis. This is the Revolution Renaissance Flip. I'm so scared using this because it exploded all over my favorite jeans and I couldn't get the ink out even when I washed it. So I just like am nervous about this, but it is really good. I just have to be so careful when I use it. And I also have the ColourPop liquid liner. A couple more eyeliners that I am keeping is the ColourPop cream liner in the shade Juniper. And then my go-to black liner is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Gel Pencil Liner. Oh, I also have this one from Annabelle, but this is old and I think it's expired. So I'm gonna toss this one. But I also have the Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil in the brown shade. Oh, forgot this brow product, which is the e.l.f. Wow Brow, which I just got, so I haven't even really tested this out that much yet. This probably needs to go. It's, oh god, yeah, it definitely needs to go. This is the e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit. I'm going to toss this one. This I'm going to give away as well. This was free. I think it was like a free gift, but it's the Revolution Focus and Fix Eyebrow Shaping Kit. By accident, they sent me like a free Renaissance Flick from Revolution, so I'm going to keep this because it's, again, unopened. This is the e.l.f. Gel liner. I think I'm going to maybe give that one away. The new e.l.f. They're like their glitter, liquid glitters. This one is another liquid eyeshadow. This is from XX Revolution. The ColourPop Creams. These are their cream eyeshadows in Prickly Poppy and Flagstaff. Definitely keeping both of these. Also for sure keeping Ritz from ColourPop. This is their Super Shock. Shadow the uh, L'Oreal gel liner. Like I did use this quite a bit, but it's really old and I'm gonna get rid of this one. I'm gonna get rid of this NYX eyeshadow. I don't remember why I bought this. This is their eyeshadow in the shade Jaded. Same thing with this Revolution one. This is in the shade Overcome. So I'm going to give this one away. I'm gonna give away both of these long lasting lustrous elf shadows. There's so many L'Oreal tattoos. You know what? I'm just gonna get rid of all of these Makeup Revolution glitters. I'm gonna keep both of these. I also have the NYX glitters. Again, I'm going to keep both of them. This is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade Creamy Chocolate. I think I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to get rid of the one in Almond Cream. I'm going to keep all of the CoverGirl ones because they're pretty new. I got them, like, I think, in 2019. This is what I am giving away or throwing out, and this is what I am keeping. Glad I kind of sorted through all of the miscellaneous stuff that I didn't need anymore, and I'm definitely feeling better and more comfortable with this selection. This is what I have been most, well, almost most dreading since I decided I was doing a declutter video. Um, it's the eyeshadows and the lipsticks and I have left them till the end. So I don't even know where to start. This is so bad. Let's, I guess, start with a palette that I know that I'm going to declutter. It's the Morphe 35 OM palette. Another palette that I'm going to get rid of is the JCAT Santa Monica eyeshadow palette. This is the NYX Avant Pop eyeshadow palette. I'm going to pass it on. This Aqua Beauty palette from e.l.f. I'm going to pass on. I'm actually going to pass along this NYX Ultimate shadow palette in the shade Phoenix. It's just the formula wasn't my favorite. I think I'm going to pass along this NYX Perfect Filter palette. Oh, for sure that I'm keeping some of the newer palettes that I picked up. So this one, the um, mini chocolate bar from I Heart Revolution in Black Pearl. I'm keeping the XX Revolution Quad in the shade Executive. I'm also going to keep, oh, this is a face palette. Did I 
This is not an eyeshadow. This is a face palette. This should not be in my pile. It is dirty and it's the XX Revolution Tuxedo Eyeshadow Palette. So definitely keeping this one. Oh, and then these two ColourPop palettes. So we had Good as Gold and Flutterby. Definitely keeping both of these because I just picked them up. I'm gonna keep Milani Soft and Sultry because it's like a fully neutral palette that is really good quality. I'm also going to keep the Catrice Times Iman eyeshadow palette. This one from NYX. Like I'm kind of tempted to keep this just because it is the only bright eyeshadow palette that I have. But at the same time, the formula just isn't great. So actually, no, I think I'm gonna pass this one on. JCAT Hollywood palette. This one is so cool. It's like the coolest selection of colors. So I think I'm gonna keep this one. This is the Morphe 35F palette. I think I wanna pass this one on. I just haven't reached for it in a while. BH Cosmetics Aurora Light palette. I'm going to keep, I'm also gonna keep the BH Cosmetics Glam Reflection Palette in the gold shade. These two Wet n Wild palettes, I have Coffee Break, uh, Coffin Break, and Nude Awakening. I wanna keep both of these. I have the e.l.f. Rose Gold Sunset palette, which I am going to keep. I honestly might end up keeping all of the e.l.f. palettes. This is the Mad for Matte Jewel Pop Palette. This is Holy Smokes, Summer Breeze, Mad for Matte Palette. And this is the original one. I wanna get rid of their little, little duos. I have Bestie Brown and I have Pink Pal. So this is the Elf New Classics Eyeshadow Palette, which I'm gonna keep. For sure, I'm keeping the Revolution Creme Brulee Palette. Definitely keeping the Revo Pooches Palette. I love the Revo Pooches Palette. It's just such a good palette. This is the Revolution Pro Night and Day Eyeshadow Palette, which I'm gonna keep. This one, the Revolution, I think it's just called their Reloaded Velvet Rose Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I think I'm going to keep this one. This is their Glitter Precious Stone Palette in Diamond. I actually passed this one along. I've only had it for like a year, but I feel like I can let go of it and not feel too sad. So I'm gonna pass this one. The Soap X Palette. This is the original Soap X. I'm definitely gonna keep it. I love it. And I have the Soap X Revolution Extra Spice Palette. Definitely keeping this. This is like my holiday palette. This is the Revolution Pro All That Glitters Palette. And then I have the Anastasia Sultry Eyeshadow Palette, which I'm gonna be keeping because it's my only high-end palette. And then here was the dupe for that. This is the Alter Ego palette, which I love as well. It's a really good formula. These are from Makeup Revolution. I don't use them very often, but when you want a glitter, it's kind of nice to have some different colors. So I got this one in Abracadabra, and then this one in the Midas Touch. This palette is from Focalore. It's their Sunrise palette. I really like this palette. I think it's beautiful. So I'm going to be keeping this one. I'm going to get rid of the NYX Lid Lingerie. I just don't think I need it anymore. This guy is the I Heart Revolution Rocky Road. I think I'm going to give this one away. I just feel like now that I have the other one, the Black Pearl version, I don't really need this one as much. The Zodiac palette from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to keep it because it's kind of like a col drugstore collector's, I feel like, to me. Definitely keeping the BH Cosmetics Ultimate Artistry Shadow Palette. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. But I also have their 42 color ultimate matte palette. I think I might just keep this one. Okay, so I'm definitely keeping more palettes than I'm giving away. I'm giving away 13 palettes and I'm keeping, I'm not even gonna count them, but I'm keeping a lot of palettes. That is my eyeshadow palette um, declutter. We are finally here, the big one, the one we've all been waiting for. We are going to be decluttering my lip glosses, lip liners, and lipstick collection. All right, so let's start with the lip glosses. So from my lip glosses, I'm keeping seven and I'm giving away six. So these are going, these are staying. Okay, so going through the lip liners, getting rid of eight and I'm keeping 12. At least that's kind of like a dent in my collection. So these ones are going away these ones are staying. Okay, so I have to go and lay out all my lipsticks. I'm going to do these in colors. This is my lipstick collection. It's insane. I already know this. I have pinks, red oranges, berries, 
pure reds or like semi-red, deeper reds or wine colored shades, a few browns, some grayish colors, and then some like dark peaches or like burnt peaches. I think I'm gonna get rid of the real shade from Essence. Out of these ones, it's probably the one, it's this one right here. I would wear the least, but I wanna keep these other four. The reds and oranges. This is one of my favorite colors to wear in the summer. I can see myself getting rid of Hustle in Heels by Maybelline. It pains me to say it, but I think I'm going to declutter Craving Coral. I just got rid of two from that category, but I might go back and take another look later. So we're gonna do the pinks now. I'm going to get rid of Cherry Skies. I wanna also get rid of the Physician's Formula one. I wanna get rid of this one, which is L'Oreal's Hot Apricot Shade, Elf Pink Peony. I'm gonna get rid of that one. I got rid of about four from this category. Let's do these browns over here. I know I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is from Wet and Wild. It's in their shade Cashmere. Okay, let's do the grayish colors. I think I'm gonna get rid of Carnal Brown though. It is really cool, but I just haven't worn it in a while and it's like a crazy color. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one. These reds are insane. I think I'm gonna get rid of Eva's Red from L'Oreal. I just realized I had a brown in here. It's I Am Confident from Milani, so I'm gonna pop that into the brown section. I think I'm gonna get rid of Red For Me by Maybelline and keep I Am Fierce. Okay, so I've kind of gone through this on my own a bit. I realized that I had a red that should have been in the dark red. I also found this bright pink that should have been in the pinks. I'm going to declutter this one, it's the Kate. Moss Rimmel Lipstick in 107. Also going to declutter Milani's Satin Lipstick in the shade Elegant. And I, this is kind of sad, but I'm going to get rid of the red shade from the Days and Diffuse. Just looking back at these, I think I'm gonna get rid of Smoking Red by Maybelline. The pinks and the browns, I'm just gonna leave to the side because I might review those again. Definitely have some dupes in here. These are like the peaches, like the burnt peaches. I think I wanna get rid of this. This is LA Girls Matte Pigment Gloss in the shade Fleur. I'm gonna compare this one, which is Spice from Makeup Revolution compared to this one from NYX, which is Peach Don't Kill My Vibe. I need to get rid of this one. Going back into the pinks, I think I'm just going to get rid of this L'Oreal one in Sparkling Rose. I have gone through my nudes, my mauves, and my like purpley tones. Well, this looks bad, but these are the nudes that I'm keeping. These are the nudes that I'm giving away. A lot of these are not just nudes, like they're also a mixture of kind of like rosy tones that are my like my lips but better shades. So I only kept a few actual nudes and the rest are more of the deeper my lips but better shade. From this, the mauve collection, I'm giving away Move It by Maybelline from their Loaded Bolds, the Physician's Formula Blushing Mauve, Elf Tea Rose, Vocalore's Chestnut, Maybelline Super Stay In, uh, Stay Exceptional. I'm also giving away Glazed Mauve from Revlon's Glass Shine, and then the Elf Sheer Matte in Praline Petal. Move all of my giveaway pile. Kind of like the interesting purpley shades. The H&M Victoria shade. And I'm gonna give away Nick suede in lavender and lace. And then I'm gonna keep these two. So I'm gonna move these aside. I'm gonna start going through the tough category, the really tough category, which is the rosy nudes, like the warm tone nudes and the terracottas and like the raisin tone shades. Those, that's gonna be a rough time. And I also wanna relook at the reds and browns again. Okay, it is <laughs> like midnight right now, but I think I am done going through everything. This is my pile right here of like raisin colored lipstick, rum colored lipsticks. This is what I'm going to give away. Getting rid of these kind of pains me because I do love all of these shades and I love this color category but that's still a lot, so I just need to at least give away a third. Then here are the terracottas, and I wasn't really able to give away any of the terracotta shades. I mean, terracottas are just my, like, 
I don't know, I just love terracotta shades. So I couldn't really figure out what to give away. So I'm just gonna keep all of these ones. I am gonna give away some of these kind of grayish tones. I'm not really into grayish anymore. These are like my interesting colors. So I have a blue one, this one from MAC, which is smoked purple which I barely wear, wear, but it's so cool. And then I have the two NYX suede. So I went through the browns again, and these are the ones that I'm keeping, so I kind of narrowed it down a little bit more. I went through some of the shades, uh, the color categories that I've already gone through, and I'm decided to get rid of all of these. I'm just gonna put away all of the makeup I'm keeping and then spread out the lipsticks that I'm giving away. This is everything that I'm giving away. So I'm really happy with decluttering this many. I feel like I did pretty good this time. That, I guess, is the end of this video. That completes that journey. That was crazy. I actually was up until 12, filmed it in sections, but I was up to 12 last night, like 12.30, just finishing, ugh, like going through all of my lipsticks and eyeshadow palettes like that took me the most time i definitely didn't do as good a job of decluttering as some other youtubers on here but i still feel really good like i feel much more comfortable with my current makeup collection now that i've gotten rid of things that were just kind of weighing on me and that i didn't need in my drawers so i hope you guys in enjoyed it either way. I hope you're enjoying the 12 days of Christmas and are excited to see the rest of the series. Thank you guys as always for watching. Thank you so much for all the support this year. It really means a lot to me. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Please subscribe if you would like to see more videos and I guess I will see you in tomorrow's.